Hey everyone, it's Kino McGregor. Downward dog is a really important posture in the yoga practice. We repeat it so much and it holds the foundational keys for good forward bending, good alignment in your shoulders for all our balances. So let's take a look at that together, okay? Starting off with your hands shoulder width apart. You're gonna make sure that the, the plane of the hand is flat so the hands aren't turned out to the side, but they're forward like this, okay? Then you're gonna step your legs back and just gently lift your hips. You wanna make sure that you're not hunched forward and that you're not too long so that the body weight is going down. We want about a 45 degree angle in the pelvis, okay? Now some things to look out for. Don't hang in the shoulders. Instead, press from the shoulders. Don't pinch the shoulders together, but roll the shoulders open and then reach out through the deltoids, through the latissimus dorsi. Now take a look at what's happening in the lower back. Right now my lower back is rounded a little bit. I want to avoid rounding the lower back. So, as you press forward with the arms, pull the pubic bone back and squeeze the lower ribs inside. That's going to give you a more flat lower back. And then roll the thighs gently inward as you lift the sitting bones and pull the pubic bone gently back. Make sure that the tailbone isn't tucked under or flipped out, but is in a nice neutral position. Now, another thing that you'll see in downward dog is a lot of people keep their heads up but you wanna let your head relax down as the shoulders roll open to create space for the neck. Lift the kneecap so the thighs are firm. Make sure the hands aren't rolling outward and this is a nice, relaxed, downward facing dog, okay? So for you people, anyone at home who's all the way up here, just press into the heels, suck the belly in and pivot your hips to let them settle, all right? Now, let's just review the shoulders one more time because the shoulders are really important in downward dog, okay? So, if you want to just take a look at what's happening right up here, then if you're in downward facing dog and the elbows go out to the side, you can see that starts to hunch the shoulders forward. We want to roll that down the back and straighten the arms, okay? If you start to squeeze the shoulders too high, you'll compress the necks. We want to roll that open and press through the deltoids. If you sag too much in the shoulders, that's also going to compress the spine. So you want to press through the shoulders. Once you press through the shoulders, you'll feel the arms engage, the shoulder girdle firm, and the neck is free. That's very, very important in downward facing dog. What you're doing is having an equal distribution of weight between your legs and your arms. So if you feel too much weight on your legs, too much weight in your arms, try to redistribute the weight just a little bit more. Shoulders open, thighs firm, pelvic floor soft and engaged, and make sure to tip your pelvis back and slightly up to get you a nice flat lower back. So these are the tools that'll help you move deeper into downward facing dog.